Let's take the licenses out of your enterprise agreement and transfer them into your smart account and virtual account so you can actually start using them. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Let's get going. You're gonna start at Cisco Software Central, that's software.cisco.com, and you're gonna scroll down to EA Workspace. When we get in here, it's gonna list out all of our enterprise agreements. We're gonna take a look at the Cisco DNA EA that we have here. You can take a look at the subscription ID at the top. You can take a look at when your next true forward date is here. You can even see the buying program. This is an enterprise agreement 2.0. And to get into it, first we're gonna take a look at the catalog. So to generate the licenses, we're gonna take a look at first what license we wanna generate. I wanna generate some switching licenses. So I'm gonna click the plus sign next to switching. And then I'm gonna say, let's generate some advantage licenses. Next, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna select the switch that you have here. So in my case, it's gonna be a Catalyst 9300. Then we need to figure out which virtual account we wanna put this license into. For me, we're gonna go down to my sale virtual account and we're gonna say sale campus, select features. Then you're gonna go ahead and pick the feature licenses you're looking for. If you're looking for DNA Advantage licenses, that's at the top here. If you're looking at Network Advantage licenses, those are more toward the bottom. For our purposes here, we're gonna throw in a 48 port DNA license. So that's one of these guys here. We're gonna just say we're looking for one, and then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and look for the accompanying Network Advantage license, 48 port again. And we're gonna say one here as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and click verify license. Next, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna do a check to make sure that you actually have those licenses and your enterprise agreement to use. In our case, we do not. So you're gonna see a message like this. This can be okay. Built into enterprise agreement, there is growth and you can use those licenses for no charge until your next true forward date. Uh, if you're over that growth amount, it could trigger an immediate true forward. So you just have to check this box here and your sales team will probably contact you to do a actual true forward if it's needed or not, or you just wait to that date. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click review and we're gonna go ahead and click generate license. You can see here that target virtual account is sale underscore campus. We're gonna go ahead and click generate and now we're all set. So those licenses should be there. We're gonna go ahead and take a look. To look for them, we're gonna go back to Cisco Software Central, click on Smart Software Manager, Manage Licenses, go over to Inventory, take a look at sale underscore campus. And then once you're in here, you could take a look at your licenses you have here. So I have DNA Advantage license, I have available one to use, and then I have uh, my Network Advantage license, and I have three in here. To see that those are the ones that we just cut, you could take a look at DNA Advantage, click that. If you go over to Transaction History right here, Transaction Date, August 6th, that's the license that we just cut because it's today's date on it. If I go ahead and click on the date, it gives you a little bit more information, came from the the source, the EA, there's that transaction ID that we saw previously on here. So we know for a fact that this came in from the enterprise agreement, the one that I just cut. Same thing with the network advantage here. I can go down, view the transaction history. We could actually take a look that two of the licenses uh, came from different transactions. And then there's that, again, that transaction that we just did today. If I go ahead and click on it, same thing, same transaction ID uh, came in from the enterprise agreement. A couple other things to show you is we can click on consumption here, and this is gonna bring up the overall consumption of everything we have in the enterprise agreement. And you can take a look here too. Right now it's only showing wireless. Depending on how this was sold, you may have a couple different subscription IDs. So right now we're on the one that ends in 52. If I go to the one that ends in 23, then it will show me my DNA switching right here. You can take a look at the DNA advantage. We can go ahead, we can click on that. And then this is showing me all the licenses that I have cut out of this enterprise agreement and what the balances actually look like. So when we do a true up, we're gonna have to true up a lot of licenses because we're in the red a fair amount here. And the last thing just to touch on is transactions here. So if you just need an audit trail, when do we cut licenses out of here? All that information is under transactions. So just a quick tutorial on how to cut licenses out of your enterprise agreement. If you guys have any questions, post below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.